Hey there, everyone. This is Royal and Sashimi, and we are here for Full Bloom Festival 2020 in Monster Hunter World at Spawn. So, what are we looking at today? Uh, fish. You like dual blades? You like fish? You like slapping things with fish? <laughs> this is a quest for you. So we're gonna go fishing today. Where are we going fishing? In the waste. That doesn't sound fun. <laughs> Alright, so for a fish to whet your appetite, this is for the new dual blades with the slappy fish. Uh, for the full bloom festival, you will need to be master rank two or higher. Uh, reward money is 9,000. None of that really matters, though. We need to get two great wet fish. So the places you are going to find these are going to be there is a fishing hole in Camp 1, and there's also a fishing hole in Camp 6. So we're going to go ahead and go to Camp 1 first. Okay, I'm go to Camp 6. Now, great wet fish are not to be they're not to be confused with a large wet fish. Uh, you are actually going to be looking for a very specific uh, wet fish. They are different, so we'll go over that once we're out there. Um. Alrighty, guys. So starting from Camp One, where we are going to go is we're going to head straight out of Camp to the left. There is a fishing pool right here where you can see Sashimi's marker. If I'm watching him. If you guys have, uh, if you guys have not gotten the downy crakes, or if you just want more, uh, this quest seems to have a very high rate of downy crakes appearing on these guys. So bring your ghillie mantle, and when you come out, be sure to check. There is a group of them immediately outside of Camp 1, and there's also a group that hangs out way down there. With the purple flowers. They run them. See? Oh, look, you oh. can see some right there. He's so cute. So if you guys need the downy crakes, this is the quest for you. We have mm. seen the downy crakes, what, three times during yeah, three this quest? Now. So it seems like they're almost guaranteed, so... Anyway, out of Camp 1, which is right up there, you're going to be taking a left. And when you come on down here, you're going to see this nice, pretty blue pool of water. This is our first fishing spot. If you have your binoculars, this is what you're looking for. Wet fish. Is it right over here? Yep. Wet fish have these blue eyes. You can see these really pretty blue eyes and these segmented sharp scales. What you're looking for is one that is really big that dude is quite huge so since we know we have one here let's go ahead and take a look at where they will be at camp six because we've already caught one before this quest the great wet fish was very hard to find mm. so we've actually been given a much needed break to the wet fish so here in Camp 6... Looks like you might have one in the center there with this yep. spin out. You can see... Yep, you can see him there. So you see there's all these little bitty ones all around him? He's definitely bigger than the rest. It seems like they always stick hard out of the water, so it makes it a little easier to tell which one you're after. So once you have one in your sights, you do not bust out your heavy bow gun you bust out your bait <laughs> you can drop this right in front of him uh you only need uh fake fodder is fine uh just drop it right in front of him and not get him <laughs> so what you can actually do if you want to clear these guys out is where did oh there he is right over there once they do run they will they will swim around so he should settle down somewhere away from the other fish you want to put it like right on top of him. That is not the right guy. He don't like you? You'll know you've got the right guy when you get this uh, fishing mini game. Just basically smash circle or whatever button comes up and hit the arrow buttons on your analog stick as they come up. And boom. There you go. Two of these, and you are out. So if you go to each camp, you should be able to grab one at each. And then you'll be good to go. Mm. 
not that bad. So we have a quest here where we actually have easy downy crakes and great wet fish, which is really awesome. Thank you so much, Capcom. We appreciate you. Much appreciated. All right, so we got one wet fish ticket here, as well as it looks like we've got some fins, oh, fin pluses. Nice. Ancient face stone. We got a golden egg and some almost scale. Oh, you got a golden egg? Yeah. Well, a little bit of money there. Not bad. Not I want bad. a decoration. I'll save. And a dragon. All right, let's get back to the workshop. Alrighty, so here we are. We are going to go ahead and hit this workshop weapon tree. You're going to need wet fish tickets, Jirotodis shards, Jirotodis grand fins, and Eltolite ores. All pretty easy stuff. It's a rarity 9 with 280 attack. Pretty decent sharpness. Feels it's like we got some purple up there. Affinity 5% mm. and 330 water. I'm kind of surprised it doesn't require any fins. That one doesn't. I'm willing to yeah. bet our upgrade is going to need it. I would think both would. I mean, they drop in the class. I guess we'll see. I always think it's hilarious when they craft something like this. <laughs> it's like... All this metal and stuff. It's like, what would you need to actually have, like, some wet fish... Why fish and chips? Them? It'd be kind of scary if they just... They came out of the lava. It'd be kind of scary if they were. I want to see them flop. Brutal. Okay, so what did the upgrade need? That's where I'm going to right now, my lady. Oh, okay. So, for the upgrade, the Wet Fish Sabers Plus, uh, oh, you're going to need one cool. more ticket. You need three Namiel Whiskers. Ooh, they go into the big Ooh. fish for this one. You will need three Flood Sacks and a Conqueror Seal. You're going to get a Rarity 11 dual, set of dual blades with attack 322. Some good pink sharpness, 5% water oh and we have protective polish on yes. these as a skill with four augmentation slots That's i don't awesome. use dual blades so i have no idea what i'm looking at here is this, is this good guys leave us something let us know in the comments i mean uh, i want those skills so we have them equipped oh, they are wiggling wiggle, on the wiggle. back look at that wiggle now you gotta We're, go hit something with them. yep we gotta go slap something with them but first we gotta check out the poses. That's not the one. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there we go. All right, to the training ground. All righty, guys, we are here at the training grounds, and there they are. They're extra <laughs> wiggly when they're out here. I love how they just limp. Slap, slap. I know you guys are just wondering, but what happens when you go demonize? <laughs> Suddenly they're extra firm, except for, well, they're still pretty wiggly in the head. No, nope. <laughs> still flopping. <laughs> I, I I feel, I feel with this festival we have reached the epitome. Of Monster Hunter World silliness, and it's awesome. We're this is starting to feel like old school Monster Hunter games. Yeah, I want to see more of this. We've got extra silly going on. I want the Poogie Throne hunting horn, please, Capcom. I wish I could be more flashy, guys. I'm not a dual blade user. Once more, just let me know. I've just got a couple of fish and no idea how <laughs> to use them. So we got one more thing to do, and then we will be out of here. Alrighty, guys. Let's come down to the main event. A duel. You ready? Sure. And go. Alrighty, guys. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you have fun farming your sardines, your wet fish, your dudes for this. Get you some downy crakes. Go get you some great wet fish, which were a myth up until this quest, and have fun with it, guys. If you're new to the channel, likes and subs are entirely up to you. What we do ask for around here, though, is if it's within your means, consider adopting or rescuing an animal. 
ASPCA.org, PetFinder.com, <laughs> or you can Google your local animal rescue and adoption options. If you can't bring one home due to allergies, living conditions, what have you, there's other ways you can help out those animals in need. You can also go volunteer and still spend time with the guys, or you can donate money, or blankets, clothes, sheets, office supplies, all kinds of stuff. Google your local shelters, see what they need. You probably got something they could use. Yep, so if you got love to give, love to show, there's plenty of ways to show that love, plenty of ways to give it, and there's plenty of animals out there who could use that love. So, guys, speaking of love, we love you, and remember, buy your fun, not your fam. Adopt, don't shop, and we will see you next time. Have fun and happy fishery. Happy hunting.